this thumbnail is what we're gonna create in this video but with what you're gonna learn you will be able to create a better thumbnail so sit back and follow me be patient with me i will give you everything you need to know about this wonderful application photo p with this application you will be able to create beautiful thumbnails welcome to the channel this video is going to introduce you to the most the most powerful web application to create a beautiful thumbnail for your video or for your videos or for your youtube videos so without wasting much of your time let's get into this video but before we get started i would like to give my thanks to the creator of this application he is a ukrainian he single-handedly made this application or created this application by himself i give him thanks for the job well done so let's get into this video guys to start with you can click on this new project once you go type photopea.com then this is what you will get click on this new project to start with you can either go through there or go for file and new project so give your project a name that you're gonna save it with on your computer so i will go ahead and save it with a meaningful name okay so here remember the youtube's thumbnail dimension should have 1280 for the width and then 720 for the height so make sure you have them okay 1280 1280 for the width and 720 for the height this is what you have to do the name you want to save it with the weight dimension and the height dimension then click on create that will take you here so you can see our background here is white so to give it a new color what you have to do is to go through layer then layer style and click on blending options or you can go through here just right click on the item the background item then go for blending options for then to give it a color go for this color of layer and then click on this color picker let me click and drag to somewhere else so here is our different colors so you can make a choice choose a color let me go for let me go for this color and then click ok and then you can play around with these functions as well what will happen if i go for this can you see a change yes you can see a, a change if i click on the texture together with this you can see a change but i don't want to have that change i want to leave it this way and go for this and then click ok remember to do that ok so you can start with this background but for me i usually give it like a design that i prefer but you can just start with this without going for another design what you have to do is to go type click on this t type two and then click on this background to start typing 
my first thumbnail then once you finish typing click on this sign this good sign to confirm good so to move this to any place within this background you have to click on this move to to activate that you can see it is activated here auto select then click on any item and then take it to any position at all so i can keep it here and uh, to give it a to give it a color you can go through here the layer but i think going through here you know it takes time but it's better but make sure that the item you want to give a color change is highlighted as you can see if i click on background then that means i'm gonna you know make changes on the background but if i click here that is where the change will occur so let me right click and go for blending options then let me go ahead drag this so that i can see the changes as i apply the color so go for color of layer then click on color box then color picker choose a color i can go for good so i will click ok there is one thing i can do here if you want to give it a stroke look at what happens you click on this stroke you can see what happens here you can change this stroke color here currently it's red you can give it white it's not good you can give it this you can give it any stroke color let me go for um let me go for red for now and click ok then you can increase the stroke size by you can type any size you want let me go for something like 12 and see what happens you can see 12 but if you don't want to have it this way you can leave it let's say let's go for five remember you can use this to drag you can use this but let me go for five and go for enter on my keyboard then click ok you can have a drop shadow you can see the change let me remove this for now just play around with this and click ok so this is what we have i you can see i can move this because the auto select the move tool is still activated so let me go and increase the size to increase the size you can either double click on the item so let me double let me double click and then go for here you see size you can then increase it increase it then after that just go click on confirm and you are good to go so there is another way to increase this or to increase the size the font size you can you see this transform controls when you click on that you can see this you can use this transform controls click on any of this rectangle axis and increase that as you can see you can decrease or increase there is another way to go for this so let me go ahead and remove this transform controls uh to get this transform controls so to get this transform controls you can go through edit and go for free transform it will give you the same you can see so let's leave it this way so if i want to return the stroke with this five with this size five uh specification this will give me something like this but if i want to increase it let me go ahead 
and right click on this item again my first thumbnail options so if i go for stroke again and increase this look at what we have if you keep on increasing that some people usually have something like this but if you want to have a background change and then still retain the stroke size of let's say five hit enter remember here is where to change the stroke color if you want to have this this way and then give a different background for this text what you have to do is to go down here you can see this rectangle just click on it and uh, click on rectangle then click on the background and hold down the left click hold it down and then move to make a shape can see what i'm doing and then release your finger from the left click so you can see we have a shape now then this is the shape we have you can go ahead and right click on that shape you can see that it's highlighted that that means we can make a change on that so i will right click and go for blending options from there i can go to color of layer to give it a color a background color so you can click on this color box and then from the color picker to make or select a color of your choice i might go for maybe white color and then click ok as you can see then here if you like you can give it a texture but i don't think it's, it's i don't like that this now let me just leave it plain and you can give it this hmm, this maybe it looks good so it depends on what you want so i can go for this and then you can give it a stroke the edges you can give the a stroke let's see what happens you can see we have this red i can change that to uh, let's say mm, maybe white will be fine if i have it white then i will click ok i can increase the stroke size you can see what we have now can you see what we have so i can leave it this way and click ok then I'm done with this I'm done with this I will go ahead you see I can move it I will have to activate the move tool again click on it then I can move it now then let's see I don't want to increase the size let me decrease the size of this my first thumbnail text so I can go click on that or I can double click on it here to get it selected confirm let's see okay it's selected then i will go ahead and uh, use this to decrease the size or you can let me confirm or you can go activate the transform controls and then decrease it and then click ok now let me disable that now let's join both of them together you can see that it that one is under under so how do we move it to front to move it to front what you have to do because this is what we want to move to front uh, but not the 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 background so we have to move this to front we have two ways of doing this either you just click on this item you want to move to front then drag it and drop on top of the item you can see it will now come before the shape that means we got it right as you can see either you do it that way or let me keep it back see you see so or you go through um or you go through layer then from layer go for arrange and then bring bring to front you can see so we are good to go so it's good now but you can move both of them together right now so how to do that so that you can move to the them together so what we do is to merge them 
So to merge them, you have to right click on this item that you want to merge with this one. Right click and go for merge down and we are good to go. So let's see. Yeah, we can move it right now and let's go ahead and decrease the size. I will add keep this and uh, something like this. My fix thumbnail, as you can see, I can move it to anywhere. So let me keep it somewhere here and click OK. And then let me remove this rank from controls. Then if you want to give another background that is different from this background, look at what I do. All right, click on this rectangle and select rectangle and try to make a perfect drawing so that i don't okay the size this is the size that i want okay so this is the size that i want then let me go and activate the move tool again so that i will be able to move i can move this to somewhere here up here remember in order to make this shape when you click on this rectangle then click on the background and then hold the left click don't right click left click and hold and drag to make this box or this background that i just did and then when you are done just release your finger you must right click on rectangle click here and then left click and hold it make the shape and lift your finger so once that is done it depends on you can you can take it down to the end or leave it this way so that you can give it a different color for me this is what i like doing i'll just leave it this way move it down and click confirm then let me go remove the transform because i don't need that then to give it a, a a different color you have to right click again and go for blending options and go for color overlay and uh, this time around i can give it this texture and then give it this you can see what we have but i might just remove this and change the color maybe this yeah maybe something like this so you have to play around with these colors and everything here and click ok then ok this is what we have we might go for stroke right click blending options let me go for this so i can give it another color white we have white already let me see from here you can change the color to anything let me go for um, red or this and click ok you can decrease the size or increase the size but we have to decrease it to a something like this and then click OK. Let me click drop shadow to see what happens. And click OK. So that is it. So I can take this down here so that I can match this with the background because this can move. Let's see what happens. Let me activate this and see. We can move this. But if I don't want to move that, uh, I can merge it with the background by right clicking on here and go for merge down. So you can see I can move it with the background now. So I want to leave it this way. It depends on you. You can just create a simple design. I'm just trying to, you know, make it look colorful then let's type on this 
click on the text tool and then click on this and start typing my first thumbnail my first thumbnail I can move it so remember to always activate the move tool so that you can move it so my first thumbnail creation we can go click on the text confirm can go again click and click back here with four photo p confirm so let me go for i can move until i activate the auto select the move tool then let me go ahead and give each of them a different design but one we have a different design and two we have the same design so let me go for the creation as you can see this photo PA is selected so let me go and either double click on the one the item i want to make a change you see we have selected that let me confirm or you go for you go through here to make the selection just click on that then right click and go for blending options and let's go for color of layer and click on the color box and color picker will appear then let's go and give it something like white white color and click ok this time around we want the stroke to be different so let's go click on the stroke but this time around I don't want to decrease the stroke uh, size see how it looks if you have it at one or two or four so I don't want to decrease it I want to increase it so that we have something like this something like this and then let me go click on the drop shadow mm, I don't see any more change but you can play around with this then okay and that is it then for this width, I want them to have this width and file to P to have the same color. So first of all, what I have to do is to click on that and right click. Let me close this. Just right click on width, then click on blending options and then go for color of layer and uh, go for color box and let's change the color from the color picker we might go for something like this okay and uh, click ok then and click ok here I can give it a drop shadow look at how it looks but now let me see what happens with this now um, let's go for gradient and see if we can give it nah nah I don't actually it's better just use the color don't go for this because i prefer the color of layer then after that you click okay so here now you don't have to go ahead and right click on this photo p and go for blending colors or blending options that would be a waste of time trying to if you want this photo p to have the same design the same the same style with this way then how to do is what to do is to go click go right click on this way then go for layer style then copy copy then go for this photo p right click on it and then go back to that layer style and paste you can see we have same style so that is how it works easy so now let's go to 
another way to import a picture. Let's assume that you have a picture saved on your computer. What you have to do is to go click on this file and go for open and place. I have my picture saved on my downloads folder. So I will have to go and look for that. Okay, this is my picture. I will click on it and click on open. Here we go. But here, when you upload a picture, it comes automatically with the transform control, as you can see. But let me, if I want to use that, I can just use it to decrease it and move it. Let me click on confirm. And here, you can see we don't have the control the transform controls you can activate that and still make use of it the way you like guys don't mind my stomach that is the one of the problems i have i just want to get rid of this as you can see it seems like someone who is a uh, uh, maybe six months pregnant. Uh, any suggestion on what to do to get this my stomach decreased? Please write that on the comment section. I will appreciate that. I'm not joking. I'm not kidding. Please. Thank you. So I will click on confirm. And uh, let me remove this transform. As you can see, it's it is looking nice. There are some times you might like to write a text here. Let me go ahead. Um, I would like to merge this picture with the background. So I will have to move it down, click here and move it down to creation. And then right click on it and merge down so that I can I can't move it any longer. If I move it, I will move it together with the background. So let me go for mesh down. So you can see now. Let me go where, 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 where. See, I can now move it with the background. So, I think it's good this way. Okay. You can now, you see, they are all together. My picture, the background, and uh, and this particular one up here. They are all together. So, I can move them together. Uh, once I'm done with this, this particular one as well, I can move it down. Because that is where I have it. Because I merge, I merge the with the this background you have here. So I can move that down here, and then right click and merge it with the background, as you can see. So that I can move all of them together, as you can see. I move all of them. If I want, I can do the same with it. You can only do this after you must have done with everything. So I can move this. And merge this to, again with the background. Nice. Then right click on this and merge that as well. So you see, I can move them all. But let me keep it. So now, let me get another text. All right. Photo, Photo P. So I have photo P here and let me go ahead and uh, 
and then so to change the font the font style of any text at all just go for this type to and double click then you will see this up here see we have click on the drop down button and you have to you will have a lot of styles to choose from so i can go ahead and choose this you can see how it looks like so we have a lot of fonts or uh, font styles on here you can make it so let me go ahead and give it a color this is not needed so let me go ahead and click on blend options blending options and go for color and go for color box and color picker will appear let me give it something uh, something this way something like this and click ok i can increase the size well, first of all you have to close this and then let me see Increase the size. I can use this. So it's better I put it this way. And uh, click on confirm. I can remove this now because I don't need it. So I want to get another text. Click on that T, the text tool, and then click anywhere and start typing. met with so remember you can change your font style and to get that you have to double click on this t this type to in order to get that option so here mm, let me right click and go for blending options to give it a color Click on color of lay and wow beautiful color so i can give this a background let me let me do something here so i'm done with that i will click ok then let me go give it a background like um click on rectangle you can right click on this rectangle and click on re rectangle and click on anywhere and hold down the right key right click and hold down and drag to make a shape so let me go and activate and move it activate this and increase it a bit a bit confirm let me remove this let me go and right click on that and go for blending options and give it something like another color this color we have here i think it's gonna be okay this and click on okay and give it something like this so you can just leave it this way but let me go for this and i can increase the let me reduce the stroke color i can give it something like white and click ok then let me increase that a bit and shadow drop shadow you can see the change then let me click ok i'm done with that and uh, this this one uh, what i can do here is to click on this photo p photo p right click on it open and increase the stroke but this time around i will go for white mm, or let's say let me go for yellow 
and then let me increase that to have a different mm, that means if i have it this way let me see if i can change the color to something else that will match it let me go for yeah this color is good and i will click ok and i will click ok i'm done with that then i want to take this met weight and join it with this background so let me move but it's under remember how to bring it to front i will have to go for layer arrange and bring to front as you can see it's here uh, i think i will have to increase the move this a bit move this a bit and uh, click on this background and click on transform controls to increase it a bit then confirm and let me remove this and click on this metal weight and then shift it a bit so but i will have to merge them both of them so that i can move both of them together if i want to move so that is i will go for this met weight right click to merge with this shape one I will right click and merge down as you can see i can now move move them so this is met with file to p my first thumbnail creation with file to p then um remember if you are doing something and make a mistake if you want to get to where you were before the mistake use this edit and this undo and the redo when you click on that let's see what happens guys keep on clicking until you get to where you want it to be you see we, we are back to where we were before you see anytime you make any mistake you can use that to correct it so let me go ahead and join them together again i will right click on my weight and scroll down to merge down and we are good to go so now i'm done with everything about this let me go merge them with the background i will right click and go for merge down i will right click and go for merge down so they are all together i can move all of them together right now good good so i'm done with this part then there's one more thing we have a lot i have a lot to show you but this is going to be the first of this tutorial and i believe what i have covered here is enough for you to get stuck then there are a lot of things i will bring out later because i don't want this video to be like one hour so the next thing you can do you don't have to like if you have let's say an image from the internet that you want to make use of let let's go to google.com so here let me type something like trees or tree then i'll go for images and let me go look for an image Let's assume that I want to use this for example. I will right click and go for open image in a new tab or a new tab. Here is where I have it. So you don't have to save this. You don't have to save any image on your computer before you make it, before you make use of it. What you can do is to if you have this um, snipping tool. There is a video on my channel on how to get it activated or oh. once you have it you can pin it to your 
taskbar as you can see i pinned that here already so when you have it enabled click on new and then give just copy any section of the tree that you want or any section of the image that you want for example this or i can go for new again and copy everything as you can see so any section just go copy it let me copy this from here and i will go for edit and go for copy after that go back to your photo p photo p and uh, click on edit and uh, go for paste as you can see we have it here already i can just put it here go for transform controls to increase the size something like this as you can see and uh, confirm let me remove this so as you can see we are good to go one last thing here before we get this done if you want to get any 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 arrow or any custom shape here is where to go right click on this rectangle and go for custom shape then click you will see a lot of them just click on any of them and click outside then if you want to increase the width or height you can make any change after that just click ok you can see we have it here uh, I can move it until I activate the move tool by clicking on it then I can now move it then I can give it a size by going through the that through the transform see what we have see and okay confirm let me remove this transform under this you can see that under that star the star replace the rectangle you can right click and go for any other shape we have a parametric shape right click on it options give it a color okay so here once you are done you have to go click on once you are done click on file go for export as then go for png click on that then you already have a name you want to save it with leave it at 100 percent don't touch anything here just click on save you will see that saved so i can see that it's saving and it's done when you click on this you can go ahead and show info that where it is saved or just open it to view let me to see where that was saved if you go to your file explorer this is file Expo explorer click on it and go for downloads and you will see it so you can see this is where it is saved me close and that is it so see you in my next video and god bless you so subscribe to the channel like the video share and activate the notification bell so that anytime a new video is uploaded you will be notified